Hi, sir. We're seeing a, a lot of lava flowing from the side. Activities. Authorities in the Philippines are warning that a volcano near began spewing ash and lava on Sunday. Over the past 400 years, the Philippines had a total of nearly 50 significant eruptions, where a total of approximately 8,000 people died. At present, FIVOX recorded 24 active volcanoes from around 300 volcanoes in the country, named and unnamed. Situated within the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Philippines is vulnerable to frequent volcanic eruptions which pose potential threat to both people and property. Lava flows and lahar inflict huge damage to properties, burying and destroying anything in their path. Ash falls become widespread and pose respiratory problems when inhaled. It is evident that volcanic eruption endangers the lives of nearby communities, kills animals, wipes away vegetation, thus affecting economic activities and tourism in the country. This natural phenomenon is inevitable. Therefore, knowledge and volcanic activities that will help in identifying when an eruption will occur are vital to reduce casualties and provide warnings to nearby communities. Volcano activity predictions are based on monitoring seismic activities, ground information, and changes in magnetic field, electrical resistivity of volcanic materials, heat flow, and gas compositions. With the real-time monitoring of these data, Volcanologists can assess if an impending eruption will occur. At present, FIVOX observatories around the country are in place to monitor these active volcanoes using seismic instruments and sensors. Some data needs on-site exploration, such as obtaining water samples and measuring gas composition near the vents. However, this requires them to get to close to the crater to ensure that the data gathered is precise and accurate. However, this is risky, time-consuming, and expensive. Today, UAVs have been used for volcano explorations, but it's not enough to obtain the necessary data because it can only perform descent observations and has a limited flight endurance. The use of mobile ground robots for volcano exploration has also been adopted. However, the steep and difficult terrain that leads to the volcano's crater is still challenging and deployment of the mobile robot might consume a lot of time and energy. To solve the gaps of current robots used in volcano exploration, the Mindanao State University Iligan Institute of Technology proposes the adoption of a collaborative aerial ground and land system to allow rapid deployment and close observation of volcanoes. We are working on developing a collaborative aerial ground and land system that will be used for volcano exploration. With this technology, volcanologists will have the option to gather data from volcano remotely. This saves time and energy from physically climbing up the crater of the volcano and reducing their exposure to volcano hazards. The concept of collaborative aerial ground admin system focuses on three main stages. Deployment, exploration, and retrieval. During the deployment phase, a UAV will be used to transport a mobile ground robot to the area of exploration. As the UAV reaches the area, it releases the mobile robot which is connected by a tethered cable with electromagnetic adhesion device. Once the device is demagnetized, the robot is deployed on the ground and exploration commences. Once exploration and data gathering are done, the UAV retrieves the mobile robot and transports it back to the base station. The mobile ground robot is equipped with cameras, sensors, and data sampling capabilities that are essential to the volcanologist in monitoring the condition of the volcano. It is designed to traverse the harsh environment and unpredictable terrain of the volcano using a symmetrical differential drive and draft wheel. This research highlights a collaboration between air and ground missions controlled using shared autonomy between a human operator and the robot. The development of this research could provide volcanologists the option to acquire data samples on the volcano without having to go on site. This provides them a faster, safer, and more efficient method of volcano exploration. The success of this technology will pave a way for advanced technology in the field of disaster preparedness and response in the country.